So I had this thought yesterday and I, something has been bugging me to come on here and kind of pick apart or explore with you guys and talk about our relationship with God from a different angle. So here goes. Speaking for myself, sometimes I feel like I take God for granted. Like he, he expects me to respect him in a certain regard or to approach him in a certain way. But I don't do that because... I don't feel like it or it doesn't feel convenient or it's simply something that I don't want to do. A good way to understand how that impacts God is to look at it from this perspective of if you were in a relationship. So say you're in a relationship, you have a boyfriend, you have a girlfriend, a husband or a wife and you love them and they say they love you as well, that's great. <laughs> so I'm saying this, you might be in a relationship, you might not, but bear with me. So say you're in this awesome relationship, you love this person and this person says they love you, they're supportive, they help you when you need to get something done, what else do people in relationships do? They say they love you unconditionally, um, everything's going great but there's something that they do that you hate and that thing is him or her they have this tendency to always flirt with people so say it starts off as they're flirting with somebody in the text messages or in the dms and you catch them and you see the messages and you approach them about it and you ask them and instead of acknowledging your feelings they're saying um it's not that big of a deal um you know you're making a big issue out of nothing so they kind of blow it over but you bug them, you keep bugging them and eventually they say they've realised how much it's hurting you and they said they're going to stop, which is great. So you told this person that you don't like it, they've stopped, but two weeks later you catch them again. They're in someone's DMs, flirting openly, blatantly, not caring and this time you're more upset. This time you're questioning yourself and you're asking why is this person treating me like this? if they claim that they love me so you go to them obviously because they're your partner they're your boyfriend they're your husband they're your wife and you say okay what is this what is this about why why are you treating me like this um do you really love me if you're treating me like this and they try to justify and they say it's not a big deal you're the one that i really have love for it's all good but obviously if you're anyone like me, you keep bugging them until they say that, okay, we're going to stop. I'm going to stop doing this because I realise that it's hurting you. So in the back of your mind, you're still hurt. You still have doubts, but you go along with it. You forgive them because that's what we do. We forgive and we forget, right? Eight weeks later. So everything's good for a while or so you think. And then you go out. So you go out on a date and he or she sees an old friend and they're hugging them and they're blatantly flirting with them in front of your eyes and at this point you're like nah this is ridiculous this is completely out of hand i can't deal with this and you're questioning yourself you're saying okay this person can't really love me if they're completely blatantly ignoring everything i'm saying to them even though they know that it's hurting me even though they know that it's a big deal to me so you've seen it happen a few times and you have finally gotten to that point where you're just tired of it. You're tired of addressing it, you're tired of bringing it up, but you don't want to leave. So you're there in bed with this partner and they come and they sleep beside you happily, peacefully, and you're there glaring at them in the middle of the night thinking, how can this person claim to love me if they're treating me like this? Eventually, because it's something that you can't tolerate, you will obviously inevitably grow apart which is exactly what happened in our relationship to god so god has called us to a higher standard he's called us to be more like him and he has put his law in our hearts that so that we might not sin against him but when we ignore those convictions and go ahead and make those decisions that are wrong even though we know it's going to hurt god we are planting seeds of separation between ourselves and gods and over time that will have a detrimental effect on our ability to hear god's voice and our ability to discern his voice from all the other voices that are around us as well 
even outside of that the love that god has for us is incomparable for the love that you might have for going back to the example of those toxic relationships or even the people that you claim to love in this life so imagine if you are in a relationship with someone that doesn't value you who doesn't respect your boundaries how much more can we think that god is hurt when we make decisions or we go against his will for us so we blatantly disrespect and disregard the things that he's telling us to do even though we know deep down that what he's telling us to do is for our benefit and it's for our betterment i'm saying all of this to say that some of us are at risk of grieving the holy spirit when we claim to love him in word but not deed and we disregard the convictions of the law that he's put in our hearts i'm saying this to you as much as i'm saying this to myself let us try to cultivate a relationship with god that is based on unconditional love that is based on love in action and not just word and let us try to understand or appreciate the character of god and not take his love for granted a lot of us know the impact that toxic relationships can have on our overall health and well-being so let us not get to that point where we are having a toxic relationship with god as well